What's up? Another video for the Duramax. We got some goodies in the mail. Um, it is not the weekend anymore. I'm just kind of excited. So I'm going to do a little unboxing and then we will cut to installing them. But pretty much for my LBZ Duramax 06, official LBZ, not an LMY or whatever it is, um, I have this little box kind of expensive for my my pay but it's needed and will help me in the future so we'll open it we'll see that we got some edge edge goodies in here we got the EGT probe tow and daily kit um, not looking really for any performance, mainly just gas mileage and towing performance. Um, so that's why I got this one, nothing too special, just looking for uh, some savings. So we got that guy, it comes with the probe that goes into your header and then I'm pretty sure this is like a tuner piece or a chip. Um, not fully sure, it doesn't really explain it but there's all that if you want to look expandable accessory system um and then we got the edge evolution throw that down this is pretty much the the bread and butter of this we pretty much will use this to delete the egr system i'm pretty sure doesn't really say that it's able to um which kind of makes sense because california but um, I got the tuner model. Um, it has, I think, five stages and or four. Um, eco, tow, and then I think performance, performance plus, and then like balls to the wall maybe. Uh, not fully sure, but we are going to get started. I'm not used to the... Uh, the angle yet on this guy well, you know just cut right there that should be enough all right sweet hold on all right we're back Ooh. i'm going to whoa try my best to do more of a show type uh, maybe I could almost set you up better. Sweet. All right. Um, I'm just going to show you like this. Maybe this will work. It comes in this nice, actually textured box, little imprint. Um, it is green compared to, I think, blue, which is just a monitor. This is going to be a tuner slash monitor. Um, We'll slide this guy out and it is upside down. So we will re-slide it out on the other side. All right, we're gonna open this tab. And you guys are gonna see the first thing, which is probably nothing. How did I know? Oh, this is kind of the, uh, the information. Power attack, whatever, carb, something. We got a nice edge, like, thick boy, this will look really, really nice on my truck. I'm probably gonna put it by the badges. We got another one so I can match on both sides if needed. Quick install guide. Uh, this will be more of my problem and not yours. Yep, so that's just how you get it into the cab. Right here is probably all the information. Uh, don't throw this stuff away. Wow, there is a lot. That's cool. There's like kind of a, uh, a race staging for drag racing. Um, don't know how well that works. We'll probably look. Very nice. I, I will be honest, that is a, uh, a nice um, manual. I might, I don't know if I'm gonna make this a two part or a one part. Um, more the merrier right now. I don't have that much subscribers. Open this up. And here we go. We actually have the monitor right here. Um, this is not that bad. I, I could have swore it would have been bigger, which kind of helps because 
The window is not the biggest. Um, we'll look on the back side. Here's where the clip for the, uh, the mount. Um, here is the HDMI cord. Has a little screen protector. You can see a lot of bullshit on it already, but that's why it is on there to protect it during shipping. Got a nice little foam piece. It would have been nice if they put foam on the top, but you know, you can't ask for everything. We'll open this guy and we will find our, our updating cable. I'm pretty sure you'll connect this to your computer and then you could install your updates. Um, first thing I probably will do is that. I will look into it more. Here is our cable. So this goes to the monitor and this goes to your truck. And this little cool piece is what actually will communicate with your EGT sensors and stuff. This is the add-on area. There is a diesel mechanic who made a great video on installing this. Um, ugh, I, I just can't think of his name. I'll, I'll try and link it in the description, but I still new to YouTube, so I don't know how to do that. Drift mod, uh, a lot of zip ties, you can't go wrong with zip ties, you never can, never will. Cool little box, which probably has nothing in it. No, I lied, I forgot already. Here is our window mount holder. Comes with a nice alcohol pad, probably gonna use that. So that is all of the monitor um, unboxing. I will uh, go do this at more of the end of the video and or middle, uh, depending on what I am doing. Um, now on to the uh, boring one. That no one's really gonna care about, but I'm gonna try and go through it because I, I am, I'm curious about it. Here we go. Made in the USA, bam, bunch of wires. This will be um, pretty much the in, uh, will be inside your engine bay, sorry. Um, that is where your uh, tuner piece goes, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm kind of confused on that still. This side is where it will then route to your cab, to your connector piece on the monitor and this will go towards your EGT probe. As you can see it right here, it's the same style of connector, but this is the probe. This goes inside of your exhaust header, so this sees an extreme, extreme amount of heat. So right here, we will see that this will go right in there, and then, more drift ties and we shall look for nothing. There is no sensor. So that's a little misleading. Really not gonna lie, it doesn't come with that piece. That's kind of um, a little dumb. Really wish it would have told me that. That's more money I have to spend. All right, we'll, we'll uh, go through here, close this because there's no reason to hurt ourselves. End cap, used to terminate the communication line. So it doesn't, come with an end cap am I, what am i why am i what am i missing here uh, okay end cap must be always connected okay this is stupid why would you not say that it's not you need that to stop it but why doesn't it not come with one it's just an end cap this isn't gonna be a two part but it, it's gonna be a lot of very separated from each other on every day. I'm going to have to contact them tomorrow because they are closed and um, I will go from there. This happens with parts. But, um, all right. We will now most likely cut to downloading the software to the edge and then hopefully installing the monitor. So let's cut to that. All right, we're now on the computer side of things and we will go to Google Chrome and we will look up edgeproducts.com. We'll then go over to updates and we're all going to scroll until we find this update 1.0. That is what the the book says I have a PC, so download update agent 1.0. Wait for it to finish. Mm. 
Any minute now. There we go. Open. Pretty much just hit agree and install. Hit yes. Wait for it to download. You close whatever you want. All right, so now I want to actually change change this to here. We'll just, yeah. All right, I hit install. We'll get this guy, I guess. This is my first time doing it. Would you like to install this device software? Yes. Gonna hit finish, finish. I'm very confused. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm assuming we're gonna do the same thing here. Volume D, because I can. Hit next. Huh. All right. Well, that's I guess a uh, a small glitch, but we're just gonna allow this to download and cut to when it's done. All right. Update agent installation successfully completed. We'll hit closed. All right. Now just double checking. We'll get it to pop up somewhere on our desktop. Right here's where my all right, so after that, we hit close, and we'll find it on our desktop right here is where mine is located. We'll double-click that. It's a little confusing, but it's really easy. You just follow the pamphlet. Connect device. All right, now we're on to the, the fun stuff. All right, I got my edge monitor plugged in. There it is. It's all plugged in. It's just loading up. Okay, so that's just, like, pretty much the agreement that you, uh don't really get to sue. All right, back on the computer, please enter your registration information to create or access an existing account. First name. All right, and then I'm gonna skip this little spot of me filling out the email so you can't see it. Cold submitting files to server failed. Please contact our tech Monday, Friday, great. All right, well, here we go. We're gonna disconnect that. I'm gonna hit okay to reopen. Connect my device. Reconnected. Just gonna wait. Oh, okay, it just kind of glitched. From what I could tell, updates are available for your device. Do you want to install them? Of course, just hit yes. Installing updates. Your update is now being installed. Please follow the instructions displayed on your device. That is why I have my GoPro. All right, so we're just installing three out of three. Sorry, completed. Um, it seemed to have disconnected my device. All right, now it's back on. Okay, so we're now touch here to begin interactive mode. Really nothing on here. Going back to the computer, we'll see that it says your device is now up to date, featured below, optional downloads available for your device. You can add downloads now or unplug product to complete the process check back soon for downloaded content for your device all right um going back to it touch here to begin an interactive demo all right once in demo mode you will not be able to exit until you power cycle the device any changes made during demo mode will not be saved got all the uh tuning that's obviously everyone's first thing so on the monitor compared to just the evolution um you actually don't really get tunes so you have to buy the evolution we're we're just gonna leave it there for now but there you go that's how you update it i'm going to actually go back to the app and reconnect and see what there might be because it was saying that there's like downloadable content so like what's the downloadable content Log out, enable Wi-Fi. So that's um, gonna be pretty much it. I'm going to disconnect my device now. And um, pretty much you would then just go and install it in your truck. And uh, 
you'd be on your merry way. I'm pretty sure you might even just be able to install it and in update it and everything off the Wi-Fi, but I wasn't gonna take the chances. There we go. Okay, that's um, that's pretty much it on the uh, unboxing and updating on your computer. Um, the other video will hopefully be in the link and you can go check out on installing it in your truck and to see how much it actually seems to affect the uh, the rig itself. So please have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Uh, uh, uh.